Hey guys, just picking up where we left off from the last video. So we've been looking at the uh, second um, section here and we, we worked out the um, centroid and the area for both of these rectangles here. And then now we just need to use that to derive our equation for shear stress. So get back to where we started from. So the shear stress from the equation that we derived a couple of videos ago is equal to the shear force divided by the second moment of area multiplied by the breadth and then multiplied by the integral of the area of the area y dA, which is the first moment of area. Again, just like we did before, we're going to make the substitution for the sum of the areas multiplied by their distances from the centroid. And then we worked out those, all of those out in the last video. So let's sub all of those in now. So for our first uh, bottom area, the width was the breadth of the flange, the height was the thickness of the flange, and um, we had a distance between centroids of D on two minus the thickness of the flange on two. And then we've got the, um, for that upper rectangle, we had an area of thickness of web multiplied by d over 2 minus thickness on 2 minus y and then multiplied to that we had the distance between the centroids y on 2 plus d on 4 minus thickness of flange on 2. So now all we need to do is sub in for